Hi guys, welcome back. Today is a busy day at my house. Uh, first of all, I want to wish all of my UK friends condolences. I know you lost your queen yesterday and it's a sad time for you all and a time of uncertainty as a new ruler takes place. Um, best wishes to you all and your country and my condolences for your loss. Um, sad times, isn't it? Um, today, shifting back into prepping mode, I'm sorry. Today, I'm going to be canning 10 pounds of hamburger my, from my last Sam's haul. And I feel good about this day because I'm better organized than I was when I canned my chicken. And I'm very pleased with the outcome of my canned chicken. We fixed a meal with it the next night and it, it tasted good. It was, it was good. So I'm happy about that. The one thing though that I will do different next time, I will put more liquid in with my chicken. So um, yeah, I will remember that. I have my extra canning rings, a jar of wide mouth lids, and the magic element that was missing the other day is my box of canning supplies. Let's see, I've got the, I, I did have my tongs out all the things that I did not have. Mostly I missed my funnel and my magnet. So, and when I went back into my pantry the next day, I walked, I was looking for something on a shelf and I looked up and at eye level was my box. So all that day I was searching and searching and searching for this box. It was right in front of my face. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. Oh no, my funnel is not in here. Oh man, but I did find my magnet and the measuring tool to see like how much airspace you leave. So I do have that. Now I don't know where my funnel is, but that's okay. I'll make do. I'm excited to get my hamburger canned. There's so many things that I will use that for and that will free up a lot of room in my freezer. So I'm going to let you go and I'm going to get busy and I'll come back and show you different steps of my process. I wanted to pop on real quick before I get started cooking my hamburger. I wanted to point out to you all that before you take on any canning project at all, any food preservation at all, you should consult resources, experts. Um, goodness, Shadow just sneezed. Um, my go-to is the Ball Blue Book of Preserving. I have another um, canning cookbook as well, but I don't have it handy right now. But the Ball Blue Book of Preserving is an excellent resource for canning and freezing. I also, for canning meat, Brent's aunt had this book and I got myself a copy on Amazon. It's an old book. It's called Stocking Up. And it literally tells you how to preserve everything, anything um, dehydrating, freezing, um, canning. There's recipes in here to use your um, preserved foods, um, how to can meat, all different kinds of meat. So um, I've been reading in this book as well, and I've been watching YouTube videos and watching some of the YouTube friends do their canning and following their examples as well. So that's where I got my um, inspiration to can. And I'm very careful to follow directions and do things exactly how they lay out in these books because um, our food is important to our health and we want our food to be safe. Now I'm gonna go head to the stove and start cooking 10 pounds of hamburger and I will bring you back and talk to you in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. This is evening. I've got my canner. I've got three inches of water in my canner and it's warming up. I have my hamburger all browned and seasoned. It's nice and warm still. Next up, I'm going to be warming up my jars and packing my jars and I'll let you come back and see me when I do that. So 
I've got my jars full. I'm taking a sponge that has nice warm water and just a little bit of Dawn to make sure I get all of the hamburger grease off, off of the jar. And then I'm going to go over it with a clean paper towel because we don't want soap in our food either. Then I'm going to go over it with vinegar. I'm going to add hot water. To about an inch headspace. Now I'm going to dip my paper towel in vinegar. and clean each jar rim with the vinegar. All right, okay, so the water's boiling in my canner and my jars have all been washed with vinegar. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> use my little magnet tool. <coughs> Excuse me. And get, and get lids on these jars so we can put them in the canner. Okay guys, I'm going to put these in the canner and get them processed at 10 pounds of pressure for one and a half hours and I'll bring you back and show you the finished result. 10 pounds of pressure. Okay guys, so there's the finished product. I have eight pints of ground beef, which is about eight pounds. In each, I have one pound approximately in each jar. I have two pints in my refrigerator because my canner was full, but I, that's okay. I'm just, I've got those worked into my meal plan for this week, so that turned out just great. So I hope you enjoyed this adventure in canning hamburger, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.